This walkthrough is to show you how to search by a part number in the interactive catalog. Enter the interactive part catalog by clicking on the center tile. And the main search in the interactive catalog will load. Click on the part search. And you are prompted to enter a part number or you can also search by description. In addition, in the part number field, you can enter in an assembly number if you know that assembly. For today, we're going to search for a bumper. I'm going to enter the part number and click on Start Search. A part search detail screen displays, showing the description of the item number. Click on the plus symbol next to the item number and a display of all of the catalogs that this item number is found in will display. Navigate to the specific catalog you wish to view this part number in and click on the plus to expand that. We're going to select the Atlantic catalog here at the top. And you can see that it displays in multiple function groups. We're going to select the refuse body group by expanding the plus and the um, subfunction group of the fork assembly. Now we'll see a list of three different assemblies that this rubber bumper appears in. And we want to take a look at the standard fork assembly on the top. We're going to click this go to on the right hand side. I just want to note that if you select the go to up on a higher level, it will take you to that position within the catalog and you will have to navigate down to these additional um, assemblies to see your part. Click on the arrow here on the right to go to this assembly page. Note when the assembly page loads that the item number that you searched for has its call out selected within the illustration. And it is also highlighted on the right hand side in the bill of material parts list for this assembly. If you want to print this page, you can simply click on the print icon on the left hand side and a PDF will be rendered once you select the conditions you want displayed in your PDF. You can print only the parts list. You can print the current drawing. You can print the drawing and parts list. Um, or you can choose to print the drawing and the parts list as the part is selected. We're going to print the entire drawing and the entire parts list. Simply click that link and the PDF is rendered. From here, you can click your printer icon to send it to a local print, or you can choose to download it and save the assembly for later. So click the close icon, and that is how we search for a part within the parts catalog. Return to your search by clicking the main selection, and that's going to take you back to your part number detail search. And a click of the home icon next to the part search will return you to the main part search screen.